Welcome to San Marga Rectory. Bienvenidos todos a la rectoría de Santa Margarita. Come along with me for this uh, cooking that we're going to do today. Follow. Hello. Here we go. This is our wonderful kitchen. Good morning, San Marga. This is Mr. Juan Pedrosa, our DRE. And we're going to be cooking for you today. I'm not a chef, disclaimer. I only cook for survival and also I cook for love. Entonces es lo importante que aquí yo estoy, no como un chef profesional, sino lo hago para sobrevivir y también con mucho amor, como decía mi mamá. Like my mom would say, do it with everything with love. De Señor Pedrosa, de nuestro Señor, que es nuestro director de educación religiosa. So, en el día de hoy, today we're going to be, first of all, this is going to be Spanish. Sometimes I will say Spanish words and English things. It, so in that way, so you get confused. That's basically at times how I operate here at St. Margaret. Uh, but what we're going to do for to, to cook for you today is yucalajillo and chuletas a la piña. So your yuca, which is, I'll explain to you later on what it is, I'll show you what it is. Cassava at, uh, with garlic and also pork chops with a sauce of uh, a little bit of pineapple uh, juice and stuff like that. Uh, that's what we're going to do for today for each one of you. And I don't follow uh, like portion stuff like that. I just do it as I go. So this is what, ready for it. And we, here we go. We took a break and we wash our hands. They're nice and clean now, las manos están limpiecitas. And we're going to show you the ingredients that we need for yucalajillo and las chuletas a la piña. So first of all, just come along here. We need four onions, regular onions, yellow onions, and the purple, that's what you call it? Mm, purple, red, red onions. Red, red onions to give some more color to it. And we have a little lemon juice, or you can use regular lemons, and tell you for a moment. Cilantro for presentations at the end. Um, garlic, I have this easy for me. I just buy this instead of uh, going through the whole trouble of doing the garlic. Um, ajo, cebollas, limón, cilantro. And this you can buy anywhere. Uh, mojo, marinate it to marinate the pork chop, the chuletas. Con esto. Pineapple juice could be any pineapple juice you have. Coconut oil there and garlic. I'm more garlic and tell you why. It's a, that's one of the secrets to do garlic. Uh, adobo. For those Latinos, saben lo que es adobo. Entonces, uh, you can get Goya products anywhere, but adobo is something that in any Latino house we have adobo everywhere. So. Uh, we have the pork chops here. We make 12 pork chops. And yuca. This is yuca. And cassava and Goya pros too. I always buy the five pounds. It's, I guess it's a better price to do that. Uh, some people, you can buy it and then peel the whole thing and to go through all the trouble. But I don't have the time to do that. So I always buy it already peeled. So these are the ingredients and we'll put it there in a picture so you know exactly what you need and then we'll proceed in a couple of seconds from now of what to do first and second, okay? So we'll see you in a bit. The first step that we're going to do is, is going to get the yuca, the cassava and boil it and cook it um, half an hour um, and then when you cook in the, the cassava, and this is a, those who have never seen it outside the bag, you can see it come over here and point. This is like what cassava looked like, yuca looked like, it's all the yuca. And this is like, put a little bit of, I forgot to mention this. Uh, you can do olive oil or vegetable oil uh, when you're cooking the yuca. Cuando cocina la yuca, le echa una tapita de aceite. Just pour that in there. Probably two. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I, I don't go with measurements, so. Yo no voy con medidas, aquí está. So that's, you might need that. And then with the 
lemon, like I said, you have real lemon, you can just put a lemon and then just put squeeze on there or something like that. So, limon. And also, I use, because my doctor told me to blood pressure was not that great. So anyway, como el doctor me dijo que la presión estaba no muy buena que digamos, eh, yo uso pink salt, it says a healthier. And you can put some salt in here. Viste, viste. Yeah. I, I look like a real chef with doing different like that you with gotta, my you, fingers. You gotta do the... Do that. I like there you go. I like there you that. Go, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, let the yuca boil and cook in there. And uh, then uh, make sure that it's not soft. And I'll show you the, the texture that you get once it's done before and then to drain it and the uh, next step with that. So that's the yuca and then let's go with the pork chop. Vamos a las chuletas. Ahora. Okay, here we go. We had the chuletas, the boneless uh, pork chops. In, um, even though with the, when you have the pork chop with the bones, it tastes here. Sabe más sabrosa las chuletas con hueso. But that's the uh, so I brought the boneless pork chops here. And what we're going to do with um, what you call it in English? Meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer. In Spanish, machuca. <laughs> just that's why you do the machuca there, and we'll just on either side tenderize. Would you call it tenderizer? Yes, tenderizer. Okay, yeah. Dale fuerte. No, that's what I, I like that. So I'm going to have Pedro. So I continue that process. And what we're going to do is, meanwhile, he tenderizes it. There is the adobo and. Um, before with adobo just a little tiny adobo on one side because we had the mojito the mojito already had the salt too and so we have adobo little tiny adobo on the side and put it there wow. he's pretty good at this huh Okay, we'll continue to do this, and then I'll, next step, we'll tell you. Now, we already machucamos la chuletas, we tender? Tenderize. Tenderize <laughs> the pork chops. Now, after that, we put it back in the container here. We watch, and then we had the mojito, or mo, mm. not mojito, mojito is the one that you drink. We can go for it. Well, mojo is different than mojito. Mojito is the drinks that you have, uh, but this is mojo, a marinated. And so what we're going to do is, um, we put this mojo on top of the chuletas, on top of the porches right here. And uh, so what we're going to do is, there you go. I think I use half one. Should I put more? Uh, go ahead. I put more. So yeah. okay, go. More flavor. More flavor. And the pineapple juice, we will not use it until we start cooking the, the pork chop, pretty much at the end, because it's sugar, the sugar will... Uh, caramelize. Caramelize, if I have to think. <laughs> and I'm going to turn them so we can have different size. That's what I'm going to do. There. Usually, the best thing to do is to uh, leave it overnight. That would be better. Uh, have the taste, you just get the flavor. It absorbs the flavor better. Yeah, better. Um, that's what it is, so I didn't do that. So, um, but still I think if I leave it for 20 minutes so so, it should be okay. Or oh, 15 minutes, who knows. Depending on how hungry, you're hungry, you just, just do it. <laughs> and um, find that way, like that. Usually, I'm going to tell you a secret. I mean, I, when I'm here, I just do it with my hands. Just move my chuletas with the hand. The only thing with that is you got all that smell of adobo and all this stuff in your hands. And um, it's hard to get. Somebody told me to use, uh, wash my hands with uh, uh, with a spoon. What do you call this? Uh, ¿Cómo se llama la cuchara? Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Uh, spoon, uh, spoon, and that's how you get the things out. 
and I, it's hard when you're, but I try to not to do it over the weekend because I don't want people, you know, receiving with the smell of adobo <laughs> in my hands. So, no, so. Another good secret for that is toothpaste. Toothpaste? Yep, just scratch oh, the toothpaste yeah? and wash your hands with toothpaste, it'll take the smell off. Oh, that's yeah. great. So I'll try that. Know. Toothpaste, okay. So that's good. So there everybody need it, leave it there for 20 minutes for now, marinate, uh, and then we'll start cooking them. See it there? And what we're going to do is, um, we're going to show you how the yuca is doing in boiling right now. So we'll just pause here and we'll go to the yuca. Closer to use the yuca. We have the yuca, like I said, with the oil, the lemon juice, a little salt. Um, it's cooking slowly here. I mean, it's boiling and cooking there. It's almost done, but not done yet. This is what the yuca looked like. And um, so it's softening little by little. It's like a potato. But uh, so just I think it will, in the next five minutes it will be done. Okay. For the onions, the way that you're going to cut the onions, the onions are going to be used for the yuca, for the cassava. So the way you're going to cut the onions are this way. From that, we cut the cebollas, cut the onion pieces without cutting your fingers, hopefully. And. Uh, I told you, I'm not a chef. And this is not, might not be the... And then you're going to do like this. Um, like a real onion rings. When you're preparing onion rings, para que se ponen como en cueritas, eh, la cebolla, no cuerita. So I'm going to this one to really come out. I can so just do more here. Put that in there, and then I'm going to let Mr. Pedrosa continue. Señor Pedrosa, que siga cortando las cebollas, onions. So he will continue to cut the onions, and we'll show you the last pro. And I think the yuca might be coming up soon. The yuca is ready and just come over here. The yuca texture cannot be too soft. If you boil this too much, it's going to be really soft and you don't want it to be that soft. But this is the right texture of it. It's still soft. Not that one. And you can stick there. There. That's the right texture of the yuca. So I'm going to drain this and there's a procedure to drain this uh, in the moment I show Okay, with the yuca, there is something very special. There, there is a root vegetable. So these have a little, little root in here that you need to pull out. It's like a little root. This is really hard and you don't want that. So what you do is you take one of them at the center, it's in the center of them. So some of them like right here. And I use this little type knife to remove uh, the root. Sometimes I just cut through it and then remove it. You don't remove that, that gives it a really bitter taste. Of <laughs> yeah, so you don't want that. And then you, you start removing. This one is really soft. You see that was talking to you? I mean, um, there's that's the root there. You remove that root. And you don't want that root to be part of the, when you cook in the, when you fry them. And what you do is sometimes I cut it in a small pieces like that when I'm doing this. This one was probably too soft. <laughs> anyway, but that's here's the root again. So 
Does it have the root? No, it doesn't have the root. Sometimes it's really hard to see. But uh, continue this process and uh, I'll show you in a moment when everything's done. Now we're going to do the chuletas, pork chops, vamos a hacer las chuletas. I have coconut oil. It doesn't look like oil, right? Because it's like thickening like that. I'm going to put some, like a little spoon here. Oh, two, I don't know. It's medium high. Lo tengo como a fuego medio alto. Alto, que sea. And then I'm using two, two um, fry pans because I have 12 chuletas. So, and I'm going to do something that my mom used to do, is to cook them in slow fire um, with a little, and then cover it up with water there, and then make it for us. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Now you can see, I think we'll use this one here. So, just waiting for that, to the oil to melt there. Start putting the chuletas here. And what I could do I do is this is what my mom used to do. Put a bit of a water right there, a little bit of water. And then cover them up. And I'll turn it, I'll check it later, about 10 minutes from now, I'll check it to see how they're do cooking. Um, if you see, I haven't put the pineapple juice yet. So, eh, lo dejamos así, lo, te lo cubrimos por unos 20 minutos, no, unos 15 minutos. And, and then, no, no hemos echamos la jugo de pinta todavía. So, we just want to wait for that pineapple juice. And uh, we'll come back to it. Well, time to do the yuca. Uh, uh, the yuca al ajillo. I have two spoons of coconut oil. Some people say it's not good to be cooking with oil, uh, coconut oil, but uh, here we go. Just put the coconut oil. And I'll put the stuff in here. Let that oil enough to cover the, the bottom of the pan. Suficiente aceite de coco para cubrir el en la parte de abajo del sartén. When this cooking, I put it in. Right now, it's in medium high. Oh, um, maybe right there. Then I'll have the garlic, and I'll. I love garlic. I'm not Italian, but I've got like. I'll put this there. And we'll fry the garlic. Okay, that. Put some more stuff in there. Here we go, I know. I don't think that's enough garlic. You think enough garlic? <laughs> I don't know if the kids will. Uh, love the garlic, but so fry the garlic in there. Uh, so what I do, I put the adobo, so adobo there when it's cooking the with the garlic. Here we go. I don't have measurements in here. Yo no tengo medidas. Let the garlic right there slowly so fry there. And you're saying, you're wondering, when is the yuca coming inside that pot? Um, the fry pan, or, or what do you call this? Frying pan, the wok. The wok, but it doesn't walk anywhere. It doesn't walk, but it's, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's, anyway. It sits. <laughs> hopefully it will, it will not <laughs> walk anywhere. So you have the so fry the, the, the garlic with a little adobo. And what you do is, slowly you're going to start putting the yuca 
Okay, we're in the yucca in there. Pork chop cooking on the other side. There, I'll show you in a moment. We can show it, my assistant. Here we go. They're slowly boiling and cooking slowly there. I'm going to put some more coconut oil. You can also use, you don't like coconut oil, you can use um, olive oil. Some people like olive oil, so that's okay. I'm gonna put this around the wok. You don't want it to be kind of dry, so a little olive. around the wok is where the hot is. Here we go. That's, that's very Latino. You have to make a noise. Muy, muy, tiene que hacer ruido, porque si no, you don't make noise that you're, you're not cooking. At least my mom. <laughs> and we can hear always. Well, this is quiet for Father, you see. Here we go. We're going to do the onions and on top of the yuca. That's why. Usually I let the... I, my problem is sometimes I'm cooking and I don't know the size of the top pot. So I'll put the onions in there and I'll try to cover it up. This is going to be like a really funny thing. I'll try to cover this up. And uh, here we go. Let's just see if I can get everything in there. Let the uh, onions little cook on top of the yuca for now, and then I'll come over and turn it over to see to mix it with the yuca. You're wondering when are we going to put that pineapple juice? When the pork chops are what's the word? Camar uh, like this lowly. Yeah. That's that's dense. What you do with then you put a little. a little I think it's a little but you know but that's why it's going to be really really uh, adventurous thing I'm going to try to move the yuca on top of the onions and that's going to be without laying the yuca I mean the onions out or the yuca out of the pan but that's put the stuff in here hopefully I want to get the onions on the bottom of this where the coconut oil is is so that's going to be a odyssey that's where they were right yes help me here because that's stupid it's still here still sleeping. i'm still here still hungry but he's still yeah i'm just uh, savoring the smell yeah that's what it is you can uh, Put it in that wonderful 1980s microwave that Father Mark Sears loves so much. Uh, every time he comes here, he loves this microwave because it's the last technology from 1980s. And of course, he always thinks that something like, what do you call that, radiation is coming out of it. So it's just love and good cooking coming out of that microwave. So come over here, the last thing with the yuca. The yuca is already.
You gotta be a chef. Well, then you gotta say voila. Voila. The moment of truth is here. So we have the student council, like I said before, and they're ready and we'll just blend the food so you can uh, try it and tell me if it's horrible and they want to run out of this, uh, this uh, dining room right now. Uh, but I would like to thank them also for being here and being able to taste uh, our food today. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We ask the Lord to bless we, this meal we're about to receive from the bounty. Also bless those families who have nothing to eat, especially feed them with your love and your spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And Amen. Our spirit. Amen. Amen. And we'll see. You can go ahead. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Buen provecho. Mm -hmm. And probably the knife is not the right, that's a foreign knife, but we'll just if it's really able to, we have all the type of knife in the kitchen, we forgot to bring it in here. But um, I know, so we'll see how the two let us are. You can look at the camera. Uh, how is that? <laughs> this is really good, not going live. <laughs> okay, the, the pork chip is good. You try the yuca. Our VP is just slowly. Mm -hmm. Is that But I have to say this. Some okay. people say that when people start talking, when you are serving food, that means that food is horrible and then nobody likes it. And so that's why they're trying to avoid eating it. That's what they say. <laughs> so, look at the answer. I thank you to, uh, uh, to all the parents who brought the student council here for uh, trying this food today. For cook. Okay. Thank you and God bless everybody.